Hey, what's up guys? We got a hunt here, lunch hunt. And quick backstory of the gameplay. The gameplay is village. Obviously it says right there domination village, but it's sniper gameplay. I quick scope a lot. I kill people. I miss a couple shots. Don't judge me. Everyone misses. You know they say their accuracy is amazing. Like that lisp. Um but yeah. So that's pretty much it. What I wanted to talk about today is the new age commentating. Um, what I mean by that, it's common commentaries have gone a long way. Uh, I used to be just talking about the gameplay. I mean, I saw, okay, I'll post it in the description below. I was going to talk about this topic uh, earlier in the week, but I did have work. And I thought I was going to have, if you guys watched my Minecraft Monday, I thought I was going to have a day off Monday. But then I got called into work right after I did my commentary. It was just like, wow. But yesterday I was like, at work and she's like can you come in close tomorrow I was like I guess and I was like this is my eighth day in a row working she's like oh my god really and I was like yeah she's like when's your next day off and I was like well it was tomorrow she's like oh well when's the next day off after that and I was like Saturday and she's like what time do you work Friday and I was like uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and she's like oh okay so she's like made a phone call and she's like okay got the day off tomorrow. So I actually have a legit day off today, which is awesome, and I don't expect a phone call at all. So I'm not going anywhere except sit at home and play some video games. So it should be a very successful day. <laughs> but anyways, going back to what I was watching, I watched a video today called My Name is Hutch. It's a documentary. It came out today, August 23rd, and it is spectacular. Um, it basically shows the progression of which how far video game commentators have come. I mean, it is about Hutch mainly, but look at that hit marker. And then I just miss hard scopes. I'm bad at hard scoping, but I'm good at quick scoping. Does that make sense? But yeah, it, it really shows because it was like when Hutch was leaving, but obviously he came back now, which is awesome. I love Hutch. He's a really cool guy met him in person, met him online, all that jazz, but then he's the one that really got all my fan base on my old channel, but uh, yeah, so I watched this video, my name is Hutch, in the description below, if you got 20 minutes, go ahead and watch it, it's, it's a really well done documentary, and it just shows how YouTube is so amazing, how the gaming community, or just Hutch really, is just great A guy and yeah but I, again it does show the progression of how commentaries started and went on to so like say it's uh started as just talking about the gameplay a couple little tips and tricks there but not as much as nowadays I mean nowadays you see tips and trick videos everywhere by T-Mart by a bunch of other guys and uh, there's so many tips you could learn but all you do is press the triggers and that's pretty much all you need to know personally <laughs> and you just progress like that and just learn on your own but if you want to watch a tip and tricks video that's fine I watch them here and there too but yeah so anyways tips and trick videos they started in COD 4 um, Hutch used to do the this guy just wrecks me watch this kill cam I remember this he, he first off he kills that guy and just flips around and just like no I was like oh but um yeah so the progression of Call of Duty commentators have, has been an interesting one it is like I said all about the gameplay and then it started getting personal and people started talking about their personal life and it got into a more interaction I mean I talk about my personal life all the time on this and I don't know if you guys care or not but it's just it's just something you can go on YouTube and just vent about and some people like that kind of thing if they feel closer in your life than just the screen in front of them you actually feel a part of their life and I find that really awesome but nowadays nowadays it's different um, it's gone more back to the gameplay style and what I mean by that is if you're not doing a let's play or a, a live com type of thing then you're not gonna get popular on YouTube because you see the top rated videos and it's all just like scary games that's that's really popular right now for some reason slender 
that's the most popular game around. But if you don't have a series going that involves you playing a video game while commentating, so basically live comms, except not live, it is obviously edited afterwards. Because, <laughs> I mean, there is live streaming, but yeah, live comms. I mean, I'm subject to them too. I do my Minecraft Mondays. Those are all live, I promise. <laughs> and it's really fun to do, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like the traditional commentaries are gone. Um, I mean, this is one right here that I'm doing right now, but like I said, you don't, you just don't see them as much as you used to. Nowadays, guys like Uberhacks or Nova, PewDiePie, um, Yogscast, those are some of the biggest channels on YouTube right now, most popular, and even White Boy is still a little relevant, 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 yeah, relevant. I said on accident. I'm dyslexic. No, but. Yeah, White Boy's a little bit there still with his kind of copying. I'm not I'm just saying he he's doing all those and Toby Games, Toby Turner, Tobuscus, he's very popular on YouTube because he does his Let's Plays all the time. He's he's the most random Let's Play guy, but he's hilarious. But that's that's a different story. Now even Hutch is back and he's doing his little the live series of Trouble in Terrorist Town, which is probably one of the most funny series I've ever watched in a long time. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch his series on TTT. Uh, C. Nanners is doing it too, but he does little clips here and there. Yeah, but C. Nanners is also doing live streams, uh, or live comms. But yeah, I just feel like the traditional one-on-one -on -one is gone. I, I want to know what you guys think about that. Does it bother you? Do you like the Let's Plays? Do you miss the interaction of one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, sure, there's still Woody's Gamer Tag that does his, like, um, Mail Mondays type of thing where he talks to you guys about problems. But that's that's a little twist to it, I guess. I mean, there's no just normal commentaries. I mean, there are still some guys that do those, but you just don't see them as much as the top rated as, let's say, what I named before, PewDiePie and all that. Because... Seriously, if you go look at the top rated videos, just scroll down. They're all Let's Plays. All of them. I mean, I recently saw a Only Use Me Blade video that he was knifing only on MW3 Chaos Mode, which was awesome. And then White Boy copied it. People are saying that. Look at this. Ready? That should have been a collateral. Why not? Why wasn't that a collateral? <sighs> Whatever. Maybe it was. I have to look back at that. But, um, yeah, it should have been collateral. But, anyways. Those are basically all I gotta, all I gotta say about that. It's pretty interesting the way people just changed. <laughs> Change is intimate, and it'll hit you one day. That's that's all I gotta say, really about that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Go watch that 20-minute Hutch documentary if you guys like Hutch enough to, because he was the father of Call of Duty, as most people say. But, yeah, comment down below what you guys think. This is Beerbeater Hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary I made. Have a good day. Peace.